Hey everybody, Janine Truitt here. Welcome to Ask Zarina. It has been a while, right? I mean, I've been posting Ask Zarina live replays here from Periscope, but I haven't really just kind of come here to just kind of kick it with you guys like in quite some time. So my apologies, um, lots of things going on with me. And so I wanted to just kind of come here and give you my state of the union, if you will, for 2016. Um, so you know exactly what's going on, what you can expect from me. And also so that you can keep your eyes posted here because I have thoroughly, thoroughly intend to get back on speaking to you guys on a weekly basis here. So here goes. So took a little break around the holidays, um, largely because a sister needed it. Like when I tell you I was just burnt, famished, well done, whatever you want to call it. That's what I was around the holiday and I needed to reset. I just needed to reset. I needed to drink a lot of wine and a lot of liquor <laughs> and just kind of be and spend time with my family and so said, so done. Um, and what came out of that was all good. Um, although I don't think I truthfully took a vacation in the manner that I had imagined. Uh, it did give me a lot of time to think about where I'm going, where am I taking this blog that is turning five this year, you guys, turning five in September, like how awesome. And where is my business going? And so I wanted to just kind of marry everything so that you really get it. So the aristocracy of HR has been my baby since 2011. And, you know, it's been a place where I've been to discuss HR for the most point, my HR pursuits, and basically give a framework to today's practitioner about how they can better navigate not only the discipline, but also how they can better navigate business on the whole. Because let's face it, if you don't understand the business, I'm not really sure what you're doing from an HR perspective, but I digress. Um, so that was the heart and soul of it. And so over time, I've really um, expanded my interests um, in terms of the things that I would like to speak about. And so you will find uh, that I'm gonna speak about a lot more than just HR because I have a platform now. And now that I have the platform, I don't want it to be as narrow as I've been in the past. And so it's going to always be HR because HR is like right here in my core. It's not going anywhere. So there will always be a world of work aspect, but I am very much comfortable and fine and have been doing um, more of a deeper dive where it concerns issues around women um, issues around, you know, what the working mother or work at home mother faces, entrepreneurship. Obviously, you know, I love tech um, and I've done a lot with HR tech, but I think I can open up that conversation to tech in general because I think it's all very applicable across the board, whether you're talking about HR tech or technology in general. And, um, you know, data, which is all the buzz, is something else that it appears my readers love to hear from me or you guys love to hear. So I say all of this to say that, um, you know, nothing stays the same forever. And it is uh, the necessity for survival to kind of roll with the punches, pivot, change, dip, dive reset whatever it is you need to in order to remain relevant and so that is what i will continue to do to keep the aristocracy of hr um you know alive kicking and something that is valuable for people to read right because people's interests change at a whim and i 
for one, and extremely grateful for everybody that continues to read my blog and has read my blog for many years. So I feel like it's my duty to really study what's needed, what's wanted, what needs to be said that nobody else is willing to say and trying to be that voice. So that's the deal with the aristocracy of HR. I want to like formally um, kind of put in the forefront my company because I don't know that my company gets as much play as it should, but it is the crown jewel that kind of stems from this whole journey that I've taken with the aristocracy of HR. So my company, Talent Think Innovations LLC, is my crown jewel. Uh, the aristocracy of HR is the official blog for Talent Think Innovations. And I've newly rebranded that business. Um, whereas when I started in 2013, I was very much focused on HR and talent management strategy for small to mid sized businesses. I'm still focused in that area, but that is just one of a few areas in which I'm providing strategies for business. So I have recently um, rebranded to a multidisciplinary business strategy and management consulting firm where I am focusing on HR and talent management still, yes, but I also am focused on providing digital marketing strategies, tech advisement, startup advisement for women in specific, um, as well as executive and leadership coaching and career coaching. So the rebranding came about because I was already doing this work. That's kind of the funny thing of all of this is I was already doing work with clients in all of those disciplines, but my brand wasn't like speaking that. It wasn't breathing that. It wasn't walking the talk, so to speak. And so I really needed people to understand the true breadth of what I'm doing out here from a work perspective. And so... I'm very happy with this rebrand, like extremely happy with the rebrand. I feel comfortable in my skin. I feel like I'm honoring the work that I'm truly doing out here and I'm not putting myself in a box um, that's neatly, you know, uh, decorated and tied up in a bow that everybody can understand. I, I have a good friend of mine that we caught up uh, maybe about like a month or two ago and he said, you know, he is pleasantly, um, what was the word? He is pleasantly confused many times when he sees the stuff, the breadth of the things that I do, um, because I also do brand influencing and I'm a speaker and I do, I facilitate workshops and I am an instructor in an academy. So I actually took it as a compliment. This was something that back in 2013, I would have like died to hear that somebody didn't understand my vision or the work that I do. And now, you know, some three years later, that doesn't bother me. Actually, it's a compliment to me that you're confused because I feel like my clients are very clear on who I am and the value I provide. Um, I'm very clear on what it is I provide and what I do, and I can explain it to you front to back. Um, and, you know, I just, I don't really want to fit in any one bucket. I want to do work that I like. I want to use my strengths, um, which for so long were not um, being utilized fully, let's just say, <laughs> when I worked for others. And so... I'm happy, I'm fulfilled, and I'm dedicated to growing, you know, this operation into something that is scalable and something that maybe people aren't necessarily expecting, right? A surprise. So I just wanted to kind of throw out that overview to give you a highlight and like a deep dive into my world and how things are moving, shifting, and changing um, from a blog perspective, business perspective for me um, so that you can decide and know why watching any of my videos or why 
reading any of my blogs is still a value for you. Um, and I'm just thankful that so many people are enjoying watching the journey and cheering me on wholeheartedly and, you know, supporting me no matter what. So thank you for watching. Um, if you want more information, if I can be helpful to you in your business, please feel free to reach out via my website, talentthinkinnovations.com. And as usual, you can always find insightful commentary on a myriad of topics from world of work to race relations, to diversity, to data, um, to HR tech at the aristocracy of HR at the aristocracy of HR.com. And so I will bid you adieu for now, but I'll leave you with a little teaser. Next week, I'm going to announce a pretty big thing right here. Um, let's just say about an expansion that's happening with Talent Think. And I'm so excited about it. And I can't wait to tell you. And I just hopped off a of Periscope and I was almost bursting to say it then, but I couldn't. Um, but I'm just really grateful, really excited, and I can't wait to share with you guys, okay? So thank you for watching. I hope you get all that's going on in my world. I hope everything's great in your world. And have a great weekend, all right? Take care.